thank you in advance for your participation in college faculty perceptions of math MOOC remediation. In this video, you're going to experience a sample MOOC. This one is currently available. It's free, and it's called Intro to Algebra Review at Udacity.com. And in this video, we are going to review the syllabus of the entire course to see if that includes math competency skills that are necessary for the math competency placement test. See if it's relevant. And then we'll take a look at the delivery system of the free math MOOC so you can see the lecture, a sample, multiple choice answers, multiple choice questions, answers uh, with immediate feedback, and a student dashboard, which is a record of success. After that, we'll take you back to the survey that you uh, were taking prior to this. Thank you. So let's take a look at the syllabus. This is really basic mathematics. Uh, integers and operations, order of operations, perimeter of uh, plane figures, fractions and decimals with ratios and rates and conversion and percents. Later they get into algebraic expressions, solving a linear equation, we're going to take an in-depth look at Pythagorean theorem, graphing a line. So these are really basic topics. It's not meant to cover the entire course. It's to show you that topics with, that are necessary can be within a MOOC. Topics can certainly be added. So in the sample MOOC, we have a format. And there's a dashboard that the student gets. And there is a roadmap of the topics. And the topics are the syllabus that you saw before. Each one has multiple lecture videos. In this MOOC, there are 200 videos, approximately. And each video comes with uh, a skip to quiz, so that they can see whether or not a student understands what's going on. And there's interactive, me immediate response to those answers. There's peer discussion if the student doesn't know. Key is that there's no professor in this MOOC. And the success record, which is the dashboard, can be kept for years. It's timeless, and it can start in seventh grade. And at the same time, it can be used for preparation for the math competency placement test. So let's take a look at the system. First, the student would get sign up and register. There's no requirement like an EDU address. There's no payment. It's totally free. The student gets uh, an introductory uh, an introduction video. Therefore, the faculty that decides they wish to use this as an online supplemental resource needs only to point a student in that right direction. Now, there's, uh, the student would choose the topics, each one of the syllabus that you saw earlier. And then let's take a look at a sample uh, MOOC. So we'll see a video. Well, this is online. Uh, teachers could download this if they want to, download the video, use it in class. Let's see what it sounds like. That has been proven always correct. The Pythagorean theorem states that in a right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the lengths of the legs of the right triangle. The legs are the two sides that make up the 90 degree angle. Then c is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle. It's also always opposite the right angle. So, given that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and c is the hypotenuse, what is the length of the hypotenuse? When a okay, this is followed by uh, examples, and uh, uh, the MOOC, again, is available free, can be watched uh, uh, on uh, either a computer or a mobile device. It should be noted that the MOOC, uh, some research shows that videos may be more effective with faculty presence teaching the lesson rather than a screen capture that you saw before. This is from the um, Community College Research Center in 2013. And if a MOOC was used, a college uh, may wish to 
uh, sponsor a MOOC that could be used within the college, within public schools, or within multiple community colleges. Thank you.